those alien bats are gonna pay for shooting up my ride. Okay, before I start today's retro bat and shoot you can 3D setup guide. If you like what you see today, hit the notification, subscribe and like so you don't miss upcoming retro emulation content here on my channel, just Jamie. That means you get notified every time I release a new setup guide and it really helps out my channel too. So if anyone's been following my recent game engines within Retro Bat, I've done a fair few of these lately and we're doing Duke 3D today. That's Duke Nukem Classic from the 90s, 1996. So what we're going to need for this is a copy of Duke Nukem 3D and I'm also going to add in how to add HD texture packs to this game. So first things first, we're going to need Duke Nukem 3D. So I've got this in .zip. Now, what I'm going to do is go into the Duke 3D folder and there's two specific files in this folder that we need to take out. So this is going to be the Duke RTS file and also the Duke 3D.grp file. So if we just extract both of those from that zip folder, we no longer need that zip folder so we can just delete that one. Next up, we got HD Texture Pack. Now, this is actually named Duke DC underscore HRP.zip. You can find that online pretty easily. So I'm not gonna extract this one, I'm gonna leave it how it is. Next up, I'm gonna go into the RetroBat directory. So right click on the shortcut of that, open file location. We're gonna go down to ROMs. And in ROMs, we're gonna find a folder here called eduke32. All we need to do is copy both of those files in, that's the duke.rts and duke3d.grp files inside. I'm also going to create a new folder within eduke32 folder. Right click, new folder, and I'm going to call this one auto load. And what I'm going to do is go inside of auto load and drag and drop that HD texture pack. So I'm going to read that out again. That's Duke DC underscore HRP dot zip. We don't need to extract this one, but it should have files like this inside. Anyways, we're going to open up RetroBat now. Okay, so we're inside of RetroBat. Now, most of the time when we add these games in uh, for supported game engines, you're not going to see anything. If you do see your game, it's likely going to be in your ports folder. If I just scroll through here, and in fact, it's not in here either. So what we need to do is press the start button. I'm using the Xbox controller, bring up main menu, down to game collection settings, select systems displayed. And from here, I'm going to scroll down and just make sure Duke Nukem 3D is enabled and I'm going to disable ports. If I press my B button to come out, and if we just scroll across, we're going to find eduke32. Here we go. Awesome. So, let's actually boot up this game. So, first thing you're likely going to see is the emulator eduke32 is not installed. So, we need to install this one by pressing yes.
Okay, as you can see, that's working perfectly, but we've also got the HD texture pack to add. So, within eJuke folder, if I press my select button, go down to advanced system options, auto loads content, it will say underneath it, use this to auto load content like HD packs. If I turn this one to yes, and come back out and go back into the game. Let's rock, day. Those alien bastards are gonna pay for shooting at my brother. Now as you've seen just there, as I went into video or display options with that HD texture pack enabled, we add more options there for video settings, so that's up for you to play around with. And that's it for today's Retro Bat in eJuke32 or Duke Nukem 3D setup guide for Windows PC. And just remember we can also add DLC and also sound enhancements just like the HD texture pack itself there. Anyways, if you liked the video today, hit notifications, subscribe and like so you don't miss upcoming retro emulation content here on my channel, just Jamie. And just remember I always leave playlists below my videos. So if there's a specific retro bat setup guide you want, then it's quite likely in that playlist, which is in my comments section. Anyways, check me out on social media. I'm on Facebook, Instagram, Twitter, and TikTok. But until next time, stay retro.